Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and today we're bringing you guys episode number 9 of Hub Roulette, and right now we are on a 12 game win streak. We're trying to bring it up to a 13th and 14th one this episode, and finally, we might be able to get to Division 4, face some harder opponents in NHL 16, so I'm looking forward to that. As well as we made some new line changes. Uh, I asked last episode where Wayne Simmons should fit in, so I went with Brett's comment. Uh, so here is how the lines, lineups are looking like. James Neal, Brian Boyle, and Philip Forsberg on the first line. Marlo, Perot, and Bodker on the second line. Wheeler, Gergensons, and Simmons on the third line. And on the fourth, we got Nita Ryder, Clink Hammer, and Milan Lucic. And of course, we already showed you guys the defense, but we will go through it again. Uh, Jason Garrison, Roberto Luongo, and Nicholas Cronwell on the first line. Uh, Postma Gardner on the second, as well as Mark Stahl and Oscar Kleffbaum on the third. So, we're going to get this first game going. We need this win to continue the streak. Hopefully, we can get lucky and win this game. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's see who, who he has on his team. He's got Turris. He's got Joel Ward, I think, that was on his right wing. And uh, he's also got Zuccarello. So, definitely some speedy players. Got to watch out a little bit. Make sure we don't lose any goals here. So, let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, Simmons. Oh, he could have gotten the debut goal. He was wide open. Oh, shoot it. Oh, he had two chances. All right, Wayne Simmons definitely uh, making a presence in the first game. And he gets a high-sticking penalty. That's what I'm talking about. Just drawing those penalties, getting into the zone. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and there's the first goal. Just cannot get back with Jake Garner. And he makes no mistake with the slap shot. Christopher Stee giving him the first goal of the game. And it's now one to nothing. Oh my goodness, again, right away, he gets another goal. Oh man, two to nothing in the first period. That was basically back to back. I gotta play a little bit better here. Come on, guys. There is the first goal. Niederreiter, our fourth liner, is pulling off a goal for us. That is a pretty clutch goal. The Milan Lucic and the... Uh, Nino Niederreiter line is working out just a little bit. The chemistry is working. Anyways, it's 2-1 to one now. We need one more goal to tie back up. Alright, end of the first period, and so far it's a tough game. He is absolutely outplaying me right now. 7-6 to six in shots, 2 minutes time on attack to 2. Definitely, uh, from the stats, it doesn't look like uh, he's outplaying me, but he's getting a little bit of some better scoring chances, so I gotta make sure I play a better second and third period here. Make sure he doesn't let in any more goals. Oh, come on. We're getting the passing plays going. But there's absolutely no commentary now. So intense. Lucic. Oh, off the helmet. Come on. We just need one to get in. There it is. Oh, Gergensen's the empty net as well. How do we not tuck that one in? Yes, there it is. That's the tying goal. Brian Boyle. Four goal game streak. Four game goal streak. That is absolutely crazy. Two to two now. I'm liking that. Got to tie back up. We just need one more to get the lead. Yes, there's another one. The cross creaser. How did that one get through? I don't even know, but Gergensen's once again just laying it out and we tie it back up 3-2. to two. Oh man, that is such a sigh of relief, especially losing two goals in the first period really, really early. Getting those goals back, oh man, it's nice to have the lead. Oh no, and there's the goal right back. Oh man, I told myself before this uh, face-off went on uh, that I didn't want to lose that goal, but now it's tied back 3-3 three three with a cross crease. Oh man, it is a tough game. Not gonna lie, this guy is not too bad at the game. And Gardner just cannot get back once again, and uh, the cross crease gets through. Anyways, 3-3 three three now in the third period. Oh my goodness, we get the goal right back. 
Brian Boyle with an absolute howler from the hash marks again just beats his goalie and we tie or we gain back the lead making it four to three. Philip Forsberg doing those deeks, the line changes are working, and Brian Boyle with the one timer, not even like on the uh, short side, but the far side too. Pretty nice goal. Yes, and that is going to be the final blow. 4-2, to two, Matthew Perot. I mean, that's 5-3. to three. Matthew Perot, he makes it 5-3 to three now in the third period with only 16 seconds left. That is what I'm talking about. Absolutely clutch goal by Gergensons, and there it is. We get the win, 5-3. to three. Definitely one of the hardest opponents i faced in Hut Roulette so far. But first of all, let's take a look at the three stars here for that game. Brian Boyle with two goals, Philip Forsberg with two assists, as well as Brendan Sod on his team has received the third star in that game. Anyways, let's take a look at the stats. 23-16 to 16 in shots, 8 minutes time on attack to 5 minutes and 30 seconds. It was a very close game, but we're going to be raising that buy now minimum. We continue our streak. Hopefully, we can get a good player. Alright guys, so back at the auction search page, let's see if we can pick up someone good for the team. So the 23rd player is going to be, let's count it out nice and slowly once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 Rick Nash is going to be the next poll for our team that is an absolutely amazing player going to add a lot of depth into our first line or second line so anyways let's go buy him out see where he fits in and there we go guys we are now in division four we are starting off with a fresh slate we're going to see if we can uh, hopefully win the division title this time around as well anyways we have moved around some players and as you guys can see, Wayne Simmons has been moved down to the fourth line. Uh, I wasn't really too overly impressed with him last game. I feel like Rick Nash, he needs to move down everybody else because I want him to be on the first line right wing spot playing alongside with Brian Boyle and James Neal. So we're going to see how that goes. We moved down Philip Forsberg to the third line. Hopefully we'll spark up a little bit of energy in the Blake Wheeler and Zemgis Gergensen's line. Even though they didn't play that bad that game, uh, I still want them to have a little bit more speed on that line. So Philip Forsberg definitely helps out that lineup quite a bit. So let's get this next game going. We're getting the second game going. Let's see if we can keep maintaining our streak and hopefully get the 14th game win streak. Alright, here we go. We're getting this game going. And he's got a pretty nice New York Islanders team. He's got Tavares. I saw that he had Mike Bossy on his team as well. So, we're going to see how we're going to do. He's got a very expensive team for sure. And uh, we'll see if we can score some goals early off in this game. There it is. Oh, Brian Boyle missing the net just by a little bit. Come on, let's see if we can set up Blake Wheeler. Oh, man. How do you miss that empty net and off the crossbar? Man, we cannot put the puck into the net, but still early in the game. We need to keep it up. Oh, no. And he scores the first goal. There it is. The opponents are getting harder. Patrick Hornfist getting him at one goal, making it one to nothing. And he does a nice little backhand forehand to get the lead. Yeah, and there is the set play right there. Patrick Marlowe, you guys know the tie-up is so deadly, especially in NHL 16, but what we have we gotta do what we gotta do. It's now one to one. Game's tied back up. Yes, there it is. Wayne Simmons sets up Milan Lucic. We uh <laughs> we get the lead, and he pauses the game as well. We'll see if he quits. He's probably not going to quit. It's still 2-1 to one in the first period. That's a pretty nice goal to get by Milan Lucic. Alright, there we go, guys. End of the first period, and let's take a look at the sat stats. 6-3 to three in shots, 3 minutes time on attack to 2 minute and 17 seconds. We're capitalizing on our power plays, which is nice. 1-for-1, one one. and uh, we got to keep up some good gameplay in the second period, because this guy's definitely not too bad. 
Oh, look at that speed by Rick Nash. Oh, can he finish? Oh, the double backhand couldn't work, but let's see if we can capitalize on this play. Shoot it. Just get on that. Get in on that. James Neal, stick lift. Nice stick lift there. Uh, can we get it back down low? Back down low to Rick. In front. Oh, the backdoor play. We could have done it, but still 2-1. to one. We're still with the lead. Let's see if we can keep it up. Oh, what a play and what a goal. Milan Lucic with another one. Is he going to quit after this one? He just likes to pause it. No, that is going to be the win. Nice quick game. We win with 3-1 to one as the final score. Total shots 10-3, to three, uh, 6 hits to 2, 4 minutes time on attack to 4 minutes and 22 seconds. That is what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're going to go choose that player, raise that buy now minimum to 14,000. I'll meet you guys there. That is a great start to Division 4 so far. We have gone two points, and uh, hopefully we can keep up that winning streak. I don't want to lose it right now, especially when the buy now minimum is so high. Anyways, we're going to be putting that buy now minimum to 14,000. We're choosing the 10th player here, so let's see what we get. We'll count it out nice and slowly once again. So the player we're going to pick up is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What? A pickup, Patrice Bergeron, an 88 overall centerman, D undoubtedly one of the best face-off takers in NHL 16. So anyways, we're going to buy him out, see where he fits in. And there we have it, guys. Patrice Bergeron has been fitted in into the team, and he's playing alongside with Rick Nash and James Neal on the first line. And I'm pretty excited about starting him in the next game of Division 4 in the next episode of Hot Roulette. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please leave a like. Let me know that you guys are enjoying it so far. But anyways, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye. Oh, what a move and what a goal. Milan Lucci. How the hell did he score that goal? I did the windmill and then went right through the five hole of Luongo. Right through the wicket.